Hey, I'm Reservoir Dogs in here. Is that, that's a, I don't know if I like that accent. That's a line that everybody remembers from the classic Quentin Tarantino film, Reservoir Dogs. It's a great, you did a great job with that, actually. Thank you. I take back everything I said. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I don't remember, uh, I, I, the thing I do remember about Reservoir Dogs, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this game. Great, good, uh, is when I saw it, I was disappointed there weren't actually any dogs in it. Or or reservoirs. reservoirs. I, I mean, mean do, do, is... do you know what the name is a reference to? No, I assumed a reservoir that contained a number of dogs that just ran freely around it and mm -hmm. or near it, like a utopian world. Just a reservoir full of dogs. But there's... that was not what it was. Dogs, and... dogs for anyone and everyone who needs them. Uh, we, we should say who we are real quick. I I'm Patrick Gill for Polygon.com. I'm Julia Alexander, also for Polygon.com. Uh, we are going to go ahead and play some of this game. So you are working on a review for this title, am I correct? I am. I've been playing it nonstop all day, but I'm not currently playing it right now. That's okay. Uh, Patrick is at the controls at the moment. Uh, I, I played a bit of this game the other day. Uh, let's see, punch through a window. Uh, so what is basically going on with Reservoir Dogs from the time that I've spent with it is... What you're seeing right now is that it is a uh, Hotline Miami-ish. It's it's sort of a mashup of Hotline Miami with uh, Super Time Force, uh, but the mechanics I would say don't mesh together quite as well as they do in either of those two games. No, no, they are slightly problematic, which I will get more into in the review. Uh, but yeah, it, it kind of goes for that vibe while throwing in Tarantino, re well, references from Tarantino's movie. Yeah. And it just never really pulls it off. And yeah. it's kind of heartbreaking, but. Yeah, it's, um. so l l let's get into this gameplay scenario and then we'll see the sort of gameplay hook yeah. that they, they've built for you. So uh, most of the scenarios are like this. You are in an area where you're surrounded by people that you need to kill, which I will attempt to do using my mouse, uh, and then I ran out of bullets, so I'm gonna pick this up, and I died. So now it's gonna f or, uh, flip me over to this guy, so now I can interfere with that timeline. I'm gonna have to turn the sensitivity down on this mouse because I'm a little, little baby boy. Uh, a sweet baby boy. So now I am this guy, so I'm gonna try to get around here and uh, shoot these guys. So the, the problem that I have with the game, uh, m trying to get my head around it mentally is, Super Time Force did the mm -hmm. same thing where you're, you're controlling an entire team of people and like uh, moving backwards and forwards through time with them. Uh, but the thing in that game was that the enemies were all on sort of uh, uh, preset, uh, you know, that they're walking the same path right. every time. In this one, there's a really weird thing that can happen where you can interfere with the AI so you can change. So let's say you know, you took care of a bunch of guys yep. by clobbering them, and then on my second playthrough with a different guy, I distract those guys, I might just see you off wailing away in the corner where there were guys in the previous timeline, yep. which doesn't work that well. No, the issue is that when you first start, it kind of, there's a linear experience. As much as that, you, as much as you can interfere with the timeline, yeah. there are moments of, hey, if Mr. Pink is taking care of these baddies over here, and all yeah. the baddies uh, from what we've seen so So you'll see right here, he, he's, Mr. Mr. Dude went over there to start clobbering away at the location where those guys would have been if I hadn't have interfered in any way. And it just gets very confusing very quickly. And the AI, I, AI that you've taken care of, even if you haven't altered the timeline, if you just go off for different ones, sometimes what happens is that even though the character when you left him is alive he is at this point dead and it's yeah it's like you said patrick it's hard to wrap your mind around when you're trying to strategize for how you want to get through a very crowded bank like we are here or on a different level um that's the cool thing about this game so as much as, it, as so i'm the type of um, player who likes to go in and just clobber if i have a gun and or my fists i just want to hit people i just want to take care of them quickly and go through this game requires that you take time to strategize and think about your exact plan of action before doing that while taking out as many security guards or cops as you can yeah so here you can see my old self you know, doing some stuff and taking care of some business here while I hang back. Oh, come on now. Um, uh, 
Yeah. Oh, and, and that link that I sent you, actually, Julia, you can you can watch the chat and let me know if anybody has any questions about this game. Oh, let me open game. up the chat. Then. Yeah. Let me let me get let me get that so we can answer questions if you guys have them. Um, the cool thing I was saying to Pat earlier, the cool thing <laughs> about it is that I've discovered that if you kind of want to play cowardly in the way that I very much do, if you just hang behind a wall <laughs> and poke your head out every once in a while, they will just come directly to you and you can literally go through this entire game beating them with a baton. Yeah. It's kind of a, one would consider Oops, it a flaw, sorry. I would consider it a nice gesture yeah. for so people. Th th these little bits are have sort of promise of being sort of smart, but I don't really understand what the reward is. This is what they call a time trial, where you are trying to loot a space as quickly as possible, so it's about uh, dividing up your time. So rather than taking one person and sending them all over the place like there, I'm going to, wait, I thought I was gonna switch to Mr. Pink when I did that. Uh, I'm going to, you know, use both of these people to crack these chests open. Okay, so you are not able to just skip between people after the first phase. It's a little confusing. Uh, I'm going to answer this question from Andrew Bird, who yeah. says, very good question. Why is there a new Reservoir Dogs game in this year of our lore 2017? It's an excellent question. And the cool thing about Reservoir Dogs that people forget because it's so beloved and acclaimed now is yeah. that it was not the movie that got Tarantino attention. The movie that got Tarantino attention back in the day was Pulp Fiction, which came out in 94. Right. Pulp, uh, Reservoir here? Dogs came out in 92. But... Looking back on it, I mean, Reservoir Dogs is Reservoir Dogs. It's so good. It's still one of it's, the best it, movies of all time, it in is my a opinion. It's a good movie. And the thing about it. I'm how do you feel like this? Is, sorry, real, real quickly. Yeah. How do you feel like this game channels the spirit of the film? That's exactly what I was going to say. So <laughs> there is a moment um, where it's very early on in the game. But there's a moment where they bring in the very famous tipping scene where it's what do you mean you don't tip? And I won't use the vocabulary that Tarantino often gives his characters, but. It feels really forced. Like yeah. it's like, oh yeah, remember this very iconic scene, which you do. Obviously, if you're playing a Reservoir Dogs game, chances are you've seen Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. Um, and it just it doesn't work for me. It just feels forced, and I don't like when, yeah, like both movies and games, whatever it is, TV shows. I don't like when they like wink, or it's like, hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Did you see what I did mm -hmm. there? Shit. So th here's a situation where if you watch, you'll see I've got two echoes running now. Um, one of them is shooting at a place where these guards war were until I interfered with Mr. Brown and made them move somewhere else. Uh, so it's a, the, the mechanics are just kind of hazy. Like I, I'm a huge fan. I don't know if you got to play Super Time Force, uh, but that was a game that did a similar thing where it was a sort of side-scrolling shooter where every time you died, you had the option to rewind just a few seconds to before you died and pick come back in as a new character or rewind to the beginning of the level. But the result was a sort of cumulative effect of like you were using yourself to help yourself get further in each time. The problem with applying that mechanic to something like this where these AIs are reacting to our locations and changing is you get in your own way a lot. Um, instead of helping yourself, you might end up hurting yourself uh, in the long run. Yeah, I mean, the cool thing about this game is that it once you do kind of figure out how the mechanics work and how you can use the timeline to your advantage, mm -hmm. you can really get into it and start strategizing. I think that's really fun and interesting to kind of um, cope with while you're playing. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm the type of person who, when I play Metal Gear Solid and they're like, okay, crawl now. I'm like, I, I got a gun. Why, <laughs> why am I crawling? So it's... For me, it's it's been really fun to kind of overcome the w desire to just run through and shoot pe like security guards um, because it yeah. won't work. Even w even when you're playing with three four players, um, which you control by yourself, and w going through this mechanic, it just you have to play by the game's rules. You, you can't just force your way through. Mm -hmm. But I was saying to you earlier, Patrick, that it kind of feels like an old school arcade game, more mm -hmm. so than other games within the same kind of subgenre. Yeah. Like I was saying to you before we started, if this was a if this was a uh, an arcade cabinet somewhere in 1986, like this would be a real cool game. Yeah. I, like I would be addicted to it because it kind of has that feel. Um and yeah, I mean this we're playing it on PC. And I just don't know. Right. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, aesthetically, it's, you know, me mechanically and aesthetically, it's borrowing a bit from games like Hotline Miami, which have been popular lately. Mr. Shifty is another recent sort of top-down, ultra-fast, ultra, you know, violence-fest. 
uh, but mechanically it is just not keeping up with those things. And uh, I feel like we're being really negative about this game. No, yeah, it's, it's yeah, we're feel, it is, I actually do like the game. Um, I think there's problems with it, but as someone who spends a lot of time reviewing movies and TV series for Polygon, I there's definitely <laughs> issues with a lot of movies yeah. and TV shows. There's a lot of issues with Tarantino movies. Um, and somebody actually pointed out- Not enough feet, I think is my biggest issue with his movies. Yeah, it's- Just not enough feet. That's Just a give stellar- me, Give me more of the good stuff, you're gonna Quentin. Cri you're gonna uh, critique our next Tarantino movie, I think. We're gonna get you to review it. Um, yeah. And it's just gonna be about that. No, but somebody brought up the point, well, why can't we get like a Kill Bill game? And I mm -hmm. think it's difficult to bring any Tarantino movie to a game and the cool thing about this is that it's reservoir dogs very loosely like it doesn't it as next to the wink wink nudge nudge of these references it's not trying to tell the story that reservoir right, dogs yeah. is um because i don't think you'd want to bring it i don't think you could bring a tarantino movie as as an adaptation to a video game it just right. wouldn't work but so, you can deal with the themes right so, so folks in the stream told me uh, I should, or stream friends pointed out, said, I think I should plan better. So I'm going to do that. So I, I <laughs> used the, the mechanics here to stack my guys up, uh, uh, SWAT 4 style, outside of this, outside of this room, and we're going to move in. Uh, part of the problem with that idea, though, in this game of planning ahead is that your field of view is this. So you don't yeah. have any sort of tactical view of, uh, you know, a top down for for each room, so you can sort of make those sort of breach and clear plans. But uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. stop stop chit chatting and uh, come in here and shoot this dude. Uh, Pat, we got a very important question that I think yes. everyone here wants to know. Uh, yes. This comes from I'm gonna say your, your username wrong. I'm so sorry, Cormac One. They want to know, hey Pat, how's the retweet grind going? Uh, it's not right now. Uh, so, uh, so okay, here I've really fucked up the AI. So my dude is just gonna stand there and get shot uh, because I stood around for too long. Um, so let's see if I can get myself out of this little pickle with my fists. You're not using Julia's technique of standing behind a wall. That's true. And then just waiting for them to come to you. People in the chat watching this game, do you have any clue what's going on? <laughs> Um, if you haven't figured out by now, um, the color wheel, so where, they're, where it shows their light, like their health bar, yeah. uh, each color is representative of their character, so that's Mr. Pink. Yes, yeah, that's Steve Buscemi, just yeah. like we all remember him with his orange hair and his chin strap beard. He looks great in the game. It's a solid look for him. It's kind Agreed. of attractive to him when they do the Are little... Are you really? He, I, I don't... I'm not proud of it. It's just when they have their dialogue moments, it's like, yeah. yeah. You, 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 He's you, cute. Even if he doesn't tip? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's. I was waiting for that scene to come up, because I think when people think of Reservoir Dogs, that's what they think of. Mm -hmm. And they got it in pretty early, and I appreciate that. It was like, we're just going to get it out of the way. We'll just mention the tipping moment. All right, uh, so I'm taking stuff out of these cases. So people are saying that they have no clue what's going on. That's totally fine. You know, the cool thing about it is that you, it's one of those games that when you get your hands on the controller or in Pat's case, <laughs> keyboard and mouse, um, I was playing it with an Xbox controller. Um, when you get your hands on it and you start playing around, it's one of those games that you just learn and the more you play, the more you appreciate it. But there's no actual story. You literally just go from venue to venue and kind of take out the same security guards, same cops. Um, but it's it, the fun that I have, like as I've said, is really trying to figure out how to get a, how to beat the AI, like how to beat what the limitations that they give you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was having a lot of fun watching you uh, sort of baiting the AI and just just literally clubbing to death dozens of armed guards just by peeking out from right a corner. I'm, I'm going to do the Julia strategy real quick. Yeah, you're, you see, hey you guys. have a gun. It's harder hey to guys. do with a gun. You have to get the baton. You can just beat them around the corner. I can just do this. Yeah, this is this is Merc. basically what I've done. And then you would just oh, kind of go. Oh, Jesus, that guy's got a gun. This is, I played through, what, it was a good six or seven levels just yeah. with a baton <laughs> like it was it just made my way through it so i, I want to talk about some stuff that i do like about this game uh and first of the presentation is nice mm -hmm. uh it's got some cool sort of rockabilly-ish background music uh obviously they didn't go the licensed music route like they did with the film because that would be flipping expensive but i like yeah. the color schemes um 
even if the characters don't look like we uh, remember them from the movie, I feel like the game's got a pretty decent sense of style and illustration. And these blood spatters are just so good. I'm a really big fan of how like areas just look absolutely ruined when you're done in them. Um, I also good. appreciate that when you get shot, it's a much more vibrant red, like it's almost cherry red, but right. as you die, it becomes a very dark red. Yeah. And it's like, I agree, I really like the art style a lot. Uh, I think it's cute and clever and doesn't distract from the game, which is important when you ha are looking at it, one, from this angle, right? Um, and two, are trying to just make oh, your geez. way around. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. He's gonna, he's gonna kill me. So I'm gonna get the chance to save that guy now. Again, so this is where it gets confusing, is on this run, I triggered a bunch of AI behaviors that I did not on my previous run, so now these AI guys who are not initially here are... Oh, it's it's murky. It's real murky, Julia. Um, two comments that I'm going to talk about, because I think I have a brilliant idea of how this game would just be like a game of the year contender. Mm -hmm. So Liam Griffin says, the fact that they didn't slash couldn't use actor's likeness doesn't help with the idea they just slapped the Reservoir, eggs, not, reservoir Dog's name on it. Mm -hmm. And then um, three ops, hope I said that right. He said, how about you just try to talk it out with the police? What if it was Steve Buscemi, but 30 Rock Steve Buscemi, okay. walking up to the police and being, how's it go, fellow cops? <laughs> so, <And> you, <laughs> so you gotta dress up Mr. Pink yeah. as a cop. And have him go do cop talk with I the cops think, so like, the rest of you guys can get away. And he's just got to contain his his barely his uh, barely hidden contempt for them. I'm also picturing a Quentin Tarantino Tina Fey crossover in some regard, and would pay a lot of money I, to have that in my life. Like I have a play. No, okay, I, I can see a play. <laughs> like a live action play. How do you do, fellow teens? What is the context of that bit? Because it's such a good bit. It he, is. He's wearing a shirt. It says music band. I remember he's that. He's holding the skateboard, the backwards yeah. hat. He's in the high school. Yeah. Oh, it's the season when, I'm sorry if people are not 30 year old fans. It's the season when Jack uh, is trying to be better than the 12 year old niece of the CEO. Right. It's a whole thing. So, okay, here's where the mechanics, the promise of this game, again, don't necessarily work out. I used my first dude to kill everybody. So now there's a chance that if I'm going to I'm going to switch to my next dude and play alongside this ghost, the shadow of this guy, but I did a good job alone. So the right thing for me to do is just stay out of this guy's way. Yeah. So now that means that the remainder of this level is just me going like this. Because if I got out there and I, and I interfered and I made any of these AI cops reposition, all of his shots would miss. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. And then this clears the way for you to just kind of leisurely stroll over right. to the checkpoint. The facial uh, expressions on these drawings are also my favorite thing. They're just... I, mm. like, I yeah, it's just like <gasps> just biting mm. that fist. All right, so we cleared a mission. So let's take a look at the overworld of this game. How long we've we been streaming this? We have been streaming for I don't uh, eighteen minutes ago. Okay, but I don't know if we've been actually streaming for eighteen minutes. Uh, good question though. Would you rather have Reservoir Doggos or a Doggo Reservoir? That comes from That's... Odyssey Ballant. Apologize if I said that wrong. I would take <sighs> Reservoir Doggos or. What are, what, what are, pardon me, each of those things, what are they? I'm is, is, Reservoir is, is, Doggos would be... A, f a film version of Reservoir Dogs featuring cute dogs. It would actually, just for your, to deal with the lack of feet, it would just be Corgi feet. It would just be... I love their fat yeah, little feet. It would just be a whole movie about Corgis running. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm into this. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, Let's, all right. I like it, I like it. Uh, what about... Um, Mr. Blue reminds me of Tobias Funke. Oh, does he look like Tobias in this one? Just in that. I just Do I have other weapons? Yes, okay, shorts. I've got other guns. Uh, equip some other weaponry, guys. Um, and so, so that would be Reservoir Doggos, and Doggo Reservoir would just be a reservoir full of dogs that I would have access to at all times. It would just be that moment from Lassie when it's like there's he's paddling through. Yeah. Or she's paddling through, I should say. Um, and it would be in slow motion, and it would just be that, a bunch of dogs like that in a reservoir. I don't like, I would get worried about the dogs. So I think I'm going to go with the first option, which is just a, a movie, uh, a, a Tarantino directed uh, dog foot fetish film. That is a great idea. We, I would, 
actually, it's a terrible idea. I would not kickstart it. Um, did you know I read a long, very long articles, like 2,000 words, on the difference between doggos and puppers and other words and the community around this? Who wrote that article? It was NPR. Okay. Uh, shout out to NPR. And it was a very fascinating read. It was like the way to use each word. It started in Australia, which yeah. makes sense. Well, see, that's the thing I noticed yeah. is uh, f- following Cool Dog Group, I was like, these people are using a lot of slang I don't understand. And like, these people all, all park their four by fours on their lawn. And like, these people are all ridiculously attractive. What is going on? And it turns out it was just Australia. All that stuff is just Australia. That is not what I remember Mr. Blue looking like. Also, the cigar kind of looks like a bullet casing, mm-hmm. like a, from a very large gun. Um, what about a game? This is also from Three Ops. What about a game called Reservoir Cogs, and it's just a plumbing simulator? Okay. I mean, Job Simulator was a great game. Oh, or Reservoir Clogs, maybe? Is yeah. that what? Did Reservoir you mean Clogs to... is good. It's a dance. It's DDR. Or you, you, you deal with clogs when you're a plumber. I don't know. You... Cl- clogged pipes. Oh, I get what you're saying. You catch me? So do cardiovascular surgeons. That's true, yeah, that, and, but, yeah. and you're also right. Uh, Dutch Dutch people would deal with clogs, reservoir clogs. Oh, Elliot God. Van Tonder, going I'm going fast. to find it for you. I'm going to find the Doggos article. Let me see. I'm going to go into my pocket uh, account. Oh, I found it. Okay. I think I can link this. Hold on, guys. Um, sign into chat. Uh, punches. Do some punches. Can I... Huh. What's your favorite online dog, uh, Julia? Like, as in a fictional dog or like a type of dog? The, like, like your favorite like dog that is sort of a meme or a presence online. Like, there's Marnie, that one with the thing where the tongue's oh, hanging out of his mouth, yeah. and the, oh. and then there's you know the, 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 there's there are various online dogs that we all know and love. Like, which of which of them stand out to you as your favorite dogs? I'm not. Oh, thank you, Cormac, one for sharing that. Um. That's a good question. So I am a terrible human. I don't have a specific one that I like the most, but I follow a lot of like we cute, we tweet cute things because like the world is ending accounts. Sure. Um, and they all their dogs are just like instant like like it's adorable. But um, we have an inside joke at Polygon which we won't get into. But there, that dog. Oh, Allegra dog. Allegra dog, yeah. which is people know Allegra. They don't know Allegra dog. Yeah, so yet. Allegra, Allegra Frank, who we love at Polygon, um, who is Polygon's MVP. We have a dog that we call Allegra dog, um, and that's kind of my favorite meme. You made yeah. that like it was your meme, but I like it a lot. Yeah, Allegra dog is good. M- my favorite dog online is um, enjoying my sex, en- enjoying my sex by. The, by the lake, then I remember instances of regret and pain I've caused other dog. It's the it's like a famous Bakun tweet uh, where there's like that Welsh corgi sitting by a pond and then he looks sad in the next frame. Does any, any does anybody else know the dog I'm talking about? I possibly we're gonna see. I need you to Google it for yourself. Um, right I'm gonna now. give you a nice compliment though from Three Ops who sure. says uh, he doesn't feel there's been enough positivity here. So just letting Pat know he's doing great, really great click in there. Keep it up. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. yeah we, I do think you're doing a great job. Thank you. I, and I, I, I'm looking for the positives. We're talking about dogs. We're talking about uh, talking about the, the very good film that is Reservoir Dogs. Uh, very tense, violent action film. Oh, that, wait, this is a great question. Um, from I'm going to see your name wrong, and I'm so sorry. Uh, Hodesee Ballant, who says, which game did dogs better, Reservoir Dogs or Watch Dogs? Oh, Watch Dogs. You can pet the dogs and watch dogs. In Watch Dogs, you could pet the dogs. I have not seen a dog in this game yet. Honestly, Game of the Year is a game where I can uh, run through the streets of San Francisco, which is my favorite city, and just pet cute dogs. And that's... that's, Like, I don't want to hack anything. I just want to pet dogs in San Francisco. You're kind of hacking a dog when you pet it, because you're like, you're doing things to its dog, dog, dog pleasure brain, and it's just... Snowball effects is don't forget sleeping dogs, which is such a great game. That is also it's also so underrated. Does not feature enough actual dogs. They're doing. We're getting a sleepy dogs movie, are we not? Really? Yeah, it's either a movie or TV show. Do you know who's directing it? No, but I think Donnie Yen is in it. Hell yeah, Donnie Yen I, is my dude. Uh, we reported about it on Polygon. I Dot think com. <laughs> it's it's a website. Uh, I think Mike McWhorter wrote it. Um, yeah, sleeping dogs movie in development with Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen is so good. Yeah, so uh, hopefully that's good because Fuck. movie adaptations of video games are 
Well, we'll see. Liam Griffin says diamond dogs are the best dogs. Uh, yes, you are all diamonds. I've lost our stream. Where did I found our stream. I lost it, but then I, found, I lost it. Um, <laughs> yeah, none of these games with dog in the tail actually have dogs in the game. This is why society is Other failing. than Nintendo dogs. Kind of. Yeah, Nintendo dogs was the best dog game. So, okay, so this. I, I've been. Since we've been talking, since like I'm not just focusing on the game, I'm having a little more fun with it. <laughs> uh, and this mission is actually using the mechanics in a slightly more interesting way yes. because we need to make it to the end within a time limit yes. this time. So having that time limit on us sort of really means that we need to be switching between these dudes and getting them down this sh ship in the appropriate amount of time. Oops. So I need to save that guy from getting killed. Still, the problem persists of interfering with AI uh, and moving them off of the path, which sort of makes makes uh, that teamwork a little more difficult. I do. Um, I oh, really shit. like this level, though. So there's yeah, there's quite a few um, timed uh, levels or timed events, um, and I think that they handle the AI really interestingly because um, they will. F I think it's after 16 seconds in this level, they will force you to switch, and it's between three characters. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of use that. You can switch before if you want, which yeah. I think Pat's been doing, but you can also just use that 16 seconds to plan your uh, attack. So, for example, you have two who can take the left and right blanks, and then just one guy who can just barrel through the middle mm -hmm. and try to get to the end. So I'm going to try like switching after each kill to see if that makes things less confusing for the AI and for me in navigating this. Is Nintendo Dogs the best game? Period. I, that's a. I mean, that's a strong. I kind of big fan. Like best game ever is like Pokemon Stadium Two, but like the mini games. What? The mini games in Wait, Pokemon Stadium Two. Is there a Pokemon Stadium Two? Yes, and they have the better mini games compared to Pokemon Stadium One, and it's great. What? What do you? What's what's? First it was of all, on the N64. Can you play as a dog in it? Um, no, you can only play as Pokemon, but there's a great, um, the best part about Pokemon Stadium 2 minigames is that the AI is really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a game where you have to count Pokemon as they run, and the AI just always grossly mm -hmm. over guesses. So the answer will be like 10, and they guess like 42. Mm. And it's just fun to, it's honestly the best game to just, well, of all time. Yeah. But also just to play with some friends, if you want to dig out an N64. And just play the Pokemon Stadium minigames, which is actually the only thing you could do in that game if you didn't have uh, a uh, Pokemon cartridge to plug into it, or you didn't have the importer tool. God, good old Nintendo. And 64 controllers still. One of my favorite controllers, too. It's a good controller. All right, I don't know if we're going to make it to the end on this one, but we're going to try. That was good. It's just so discouraging to like do a good job though and then be like, oh, now I just need to stay out of the yep. way of myself yep. because if I get in there, I'm going to fuck everything up. I've died a few times because of that exact reason where I forget that, right, he's already or I've already <laughs> taken care of this. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon are just big dogs anyway, says Luce Elliott. Kind of agree. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, well, this gets into the whole our Pokemon pets and we're yeah, funny monsters. Do we? Yeah, pets, it's yeah. a whole. Pokemon is just an entirely different world. Which obviously it is, but which I love dearly. Yeah. It's great. It's a great, beautiful world. Big doggles, wolves, same difference. True. True. Also true. Very true. Um, I kind of hope that there are dogs in this game. I have not reached point if there are. Where I, they've appeared. I doubt. I always want there to be like a guard dog, right? Because like, they have, have to kill it. guards. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, you only. Have to kill oh, it. God, no, yeah, I don't want to hurt no dogs. So I, I say as I murder a human being with a shotgun. Uh, hurting dogs was the worst part of the Call of Duty series. Oh, yes. It was the worst part of uh, Wolfenstein. Uh, the, even though those dogs were Nazis and also robots, uh, at some point they were dogs which were good and pure and did not deserve to be stabbed by me. I've never played Wolfenstein. Really? No. The, the, I've always wanted to, just never found the time to do it. Wolfenstein New Order, the one that came out in 2014, I think, is absolutely one of my favorite games ever. It's yeah, so good. You and our friend at Game Informer, JV. JV, yeah. JV talks about it all the time. Um, I know that's his favorite game of all time, too. 
he and, and I have different opinions on Game of the all time. He would consider Wolfenstein New Order. I would consider Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium too. Too many games. I mean, that's which, usually the debates usually come down to one of those two. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like that's the only. I mean, Zelda. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. People ask, like, when when will we have the Citizen Kane of video games? And the answer is, we already did. It was Pokemon <laughs> Stadium 2. It was a, just a series of uh, vignettes based on Pokemon. Uh, so the biggest, this comes from Elliot Van Tonder, who, and I agree with you, Elliot, who says, the biggest disappointment is just Naughty Dog. When will they make a game about those mischievous puppers? You know, they have That's a dog true. in their They're name. They're called dog, right? In the t- they used to have a dog in their logo. They did, yeah. And he was a naughty dog, and... Yeah, video games have changed. Hey, you can make a joke that that Nathan Drake's a naughty dog. Eh, eh. Wait, hold on. Is yeah. It, uh, yeah, I guess he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a scoundrel. Anyways, that is... Moving on. <laughs> Quickly moving on. So, okay, what's going on here again? This is the same situation I've been in several times. Is on my first run, I was able to get all the kills that I needed. So... I didn't need to use that time rewind mechanic because I literally would have just gotten in my way if I sent another character in there after him and then forced those AIs that I killed to reposition so that my shots didn't land where they need to go. I know it's confusing when I describe it, but it's weird because it's like they built this time rewinding co-op mechanic that just gets in your way. (laughs) I feel so bad. Uh, I've never had to be mean to a game on a stream before. This is my first time. There's a first time for everything, Pat. Okay. But you're doing you are you do it in such a loving, Thank positive you. way that I Thank really you. appreciate it. Fucking a, we're surrounded. Um, Snowball Fact says, uh, "Boy, Pouty, that's a lot of blood." And <laughs> I agree. It almost looks like they've been uh, exsanguinated. Yeah. Like they looks like they have been drained of all their blood. And I do like that. I do actually like. I it. appreciate that they stick to the violence, considering it's just a cartoon style. Right. And for, for, for like gameplay reasons and readability, it is really it's a quick indicator that the person that you're just shooting at is in fact completely dead, and you no longer have to consider them a threat. So it is smart in, uh, from that perspective. All right, so shoot these dudes. <laughs> Nick at work says, "Why can't they just be Reservoir Good Guys?" I mean, this is the utopia that we want to live in, where yeah, there's no true. drama, no blood. They're just talking it all out. Just talking it out. There is a lot of talking in Reservoir Dogs. This, so this is. A lot more action than is in the uh, film Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, Steve Buscemi has been in a lot of things. Um, my favorite, obviously, I've talked about this on Twitter if anyone follows me, but it being <laughs> Boardwalk Empire, where he plays these really cool characters who are involved in like violent schemes, but is always just the smooth, talking, charming person. Yeah. And I'm always like, but Steve Buscemi, you're so strange in like a lovable way but he's always this charming figure yeah no it's, i've always wanted to ask him about that well, well you can right doesn't he live around here somewhere i think he, I think he lives uh, on my blog actually he's gonna go knock on this door i'd be like question for you where are the dogs and reservoirs in reservoir dogs mm-hmm. secondly why do you always play charming people yeah it's, the answer is because he's just so inherently charming it is the only answer it's the only viable answer <laughs> Mod says this game is kind of like Dark Souls. It's this is the Dark Souls of Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> yeah, this is the Dark Souls of the Quentin Tarantino cinematic universe. So I just held that guy up for some money, with which I do not know what to do. But now, actually, you use the money. So the way money works in this game is throughout these levels, you have opportunities to sort of pillage and uh, take money, and then later you can use that money to. Uh, Upgrade, not actually, there's no upgrades. Uh, you use it to uh, buy new missions that you can go on to make more money. It's sort of a, a self sustaining uh, economy of violence. I like the quotes, though, in between. So I, once again, have issues with the quotes because I feel like they don't have anything to do with what we're doing in the game. It's just like, hey, you remember the time somebody said this in the movie? Because well, they have to make it Reservoir Dogs. I know. Other than that, because you can't, that's the thing. If we're, there, no one's sitting around at a table shooting the you know stuff you, you can say shit can i swear on you, you can say uh, all the words just just uh you need to give a swear warning first I'm which get, is i'm gonna give a, a vulgarity warning you say, first you, you, you gotta say i'm gonna cuss i'm and, gonna cuss and then you wait five seconds and you do a cuss they're not sitting on a table here's my five seconds shooting the shit yeah okay um but they are shooting other people so I mean, <laughs> really, <laughs> there is something there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This, and, uh, this I'll, person, Kiri Deucer, just says, uh, "I live for y'all streams." Oh, that's really super nice. sweet. Thank you. 
we'll, we'll, we'll do more for you. Um, so one of the things that I do really like about this game, I'm going to keep pointing out everything that I like, is when you shoot somebody with a shotgun, they go tumbling in a really entertaining way. <laughs> yes, that's um, true. So let me see if I can grab one here. And that guy's a civilian. I won't shoot him. But he's got he'll... money. He d okay, ready? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. There's nothing you can do to make that Look not feel good. Look at the blood loss, though, from yeah, a shotgun. A Reservoir Dogs Taco Tuesdays would watch, would play. Although I'm not a fan of tacos. You're not a fan of most foods. Yeah, I don't like tacos or burritos. You mostly eat uh, Julia. Julia, you don't do streams with us a lot. No, I, I'm usually on the editorial side and yeah. even on that end, on the entertainment side. Yeah, I, 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 we're going to get you on more streams because there's a lot of interesting things that people can learn about you. For example, you mostly just eat chicken nuggets and alcohol. Uh, yeah, I survive on a diet of chicken nuggets and Jameson, <laughs> uh, which is like a solid diet, I think. You get your protein, yeah, Jameson. your wheat. Yeah, it was a grain. Yeah, there's a grain yeah. in there. Uh, Stay hydrated. If you leave the whiskey, it eventually becomes water. So, like, yeah, or watered down. That's close enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm Good a role model. I, I would kill for some nugs right now. That's though. what I, there's a Wendy's near us, Pat. Do you want to end the stream and go to Wendy's? We might have to end the stream. Would you guys um, hate us if we ended the stream to go get chicken nuggets? Or would you be like, nah, mad respect, fam. <laughs> Go get, get your those nugs, nuggets. Get your nugs. Uh, actually, we do have another stream coming up right after this one. Uh, so if you're having fun hanging out with these two idiots uh, with this game that is okay but not great, uh, uh, Phil Kohler, um, the stream friend himself, is going to be streaming The Surge, which is a Souls-like sci-fi game that he is very 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 fond of i think him and russ are going to be taking that one yes um and i've heard really good things and i'm really excited to watch it because i want to see what that game's all about so yeah uh thank you for hanging out with us today julia thank you so much for talking to us about reservoir dogs and regular dogs thank you guys for having me you've been so nice yeah uh do, do, would you uh my, my closing question to you uh hmu is um would you rather play a game called Reservoir Dogs or a game called Regular Dogs? Uh, I like to play the game called Regular Dogs, which I play daily on my walk home. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Regular Dogs is out now. Uh, Reservoir Dogs is also out now. It's on Steam. Um, boom, boom, boom. Beat them all up. Uh, it's, uh, I wish I had checked the price. I'm going to guess $19. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, scope it out. Uh, and I hope you all have a really lovely day. I'm going to take my hands off the mouse so I can end the stream. Peace. Bye.